Okay, today we're going to be making an irresistibly moist and spiced pumpkin bread that is packed with the warm and comforting flavors of cinnamon, ginger, a few other spices, and of course, pumpkin. This pumpkin bread is honestly so, so incredibly easy to make. You wanna start off by preheating your oven to 180 C or 350 F conventional and lightly grease an eight by five by 4.5 inch loaf tin. And then you also wanna line the pan with parchment paper with some of that parchment paper hanging over the edges. Now you just want to pop your bread tin aside for now and next we're going to sift together our dry ingredients. So I've got 180 grams or one and a half cups of plain all-purpose flour, 30 grams or a quarter cup of cornstarch, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, three quarters of a teaspoon of ginger powder, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. These spices are going to give the pumpkin bread the most incredible flavor. And then using a whisk, give that a good mix until it's well combined and set it aside for now. Next in the large bowl, you wanna add in 200 grams or one cup of white granulated sugar, two large room temperature eggs, 155 grams or three quarters of a cup of unflavored vegetable oil, I use canola oil, 250 grams or one cup of pumpkin puree, I use Libby's 100% canned pumpkin, 45 grams or three tablespoons of room temperature whole milk, and one and a quarter teaspoons of vanilla. And then you just wanna use a whisk to give that a good mix until it's well combined and smooth. Now to finish off the batter, all you have to do is add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients, and then again using a whisk, mix gently until just combined and smooth. You don't wanna over mix it, otherwise you're going to end up with a very dense pumpkin bread, so you just wanna mix until you can't see any more streaks of unmixed flour and the batter looks uniform. So that is our batter all done, honestly. So, so easy, and now you just wanna pour this into our prepared pan from earlier. Now once all the batter is in, you just wanna drop the bread tin lightly on the counter to remove any large air bubbles. And now this is going to go into the oven for about 65 to 75 minutes, or until a skewer or thin knife inserted into the center comes out clean or with a few moist crumbs on it. Now if your bread tin is slightly bigger than mine, then you wanna check the pumpkin bread a little bit earlier. So maybe around the 55 minute mark as it is likely to cook a bit faster. So my pumpkin bread is all done now. It honestly smells so, so incredible. It's been cooling in the tin for about 20 minutes just to give it some time to firm up a little. And now I'm just going to use the parchment paper that's hanging over the edges to lift the pumpkin bread out of the tin. Now you just wanna let the pumpkin bread completely cool before placing it onto a serving plate and then it is ready to slice and serve. This pumpkin bread is so, so soft and moist. It has the most wonderful spiced pumpkin flavor and it honestly leaves your house smelling so incredibly cozy. Mmm. This pumpkin bread is so incredibly soft and moist, but still has great structure. So, you know, it still kind of holds together really well. And it's so well spiced, like, the spices in there just give it such incredible flavor. So that is it for today, guys. If you do decide to give this wonderfully spiced pumpkin bread a go, then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out, and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.